This, my friends, is the Oculus Quest. And the only reason I bought it is because gravity, gravity sketch is pulling a lot of designers and artists into its orbit. I'm one of them. So actually, we're going to take a model, a design that I created in ZBrush a while ago, and we won't get too deep into that, but we're gonna spend most of our time inside of Gravity Sketch and then a little bit inside of Alias to begin our NURB work. So why don't you follow me? Let's jump in and get started. So as I said, we're gonna jump into inside of ZBrush and do a quick concept model. I did this a while ago, sketching, finding the character lines. Now that we've decided, We've got some lines down. I am going to inscribe or trace the theoreticals and character lines. And so there we have it right here, all the theoreticals. Now it's time to get that inside of, or isolate it and then get it inside of Gravity Sketch. There's the isolated, isolated lines. And then now we can take that and import it inside of Gravity Sketch. That's just an OBJ file. Uh, and now I'm getting it to size, making sure it's oriented right. I'd like Z to be up and Y is zero. Uh, y is the center line, as usual in the automotive industry. I'm just setting up everything. I'm turning off the stage floor. I generally don't like that to be there. And then now I'm using NURB surface or NURB lines. You can see the CVs, just like alias. Those are real NURB lines. It looks thick and so forth, but that's real NURBS line. So essentially that's how you lay down a NURBS line. Um, and all of the lines are gonna be lay, laid down like that. Now I'm actually tapering the ends here. Uh, and that's a little something that I do to make the sketch if I wanted to sell it as a sketch to look better. But you can see the, um, the theoreticals from ZBrush inside of that. Here's another NURBS line I'm just laying down. After I lay down a NURBS line, I, I pick it and then expose the CVs and begin to make sure that the line is the way I want it. Essentially, this is the end result of most of the lines. All of the lines are not there, but that's enough to begin getting started with the NURB surfaces. Now the NURB surfaces have loft on them and you pretty much set those lofts in the beginning, but you can always adjust them later. This is sort of a, a by rail, as you would call it inside, or a skin as you would call it inside of Alias. And then, you know, you've got the CV roll and I'm gonna pick that up just to give a little more loft to that. That's pretty much how I am going to lay down the CVs for all of them. It's pretty much that easy. If you understand Alias, then you understand how this process works. Now laying down the major portion of the roof, windshield, back glass. I 
adjusting it to the lines. Now these lines, some of these lines are not necessarily holding the surface. They're just there for, they're just there to um, check my nerves surfaces against them to make sure that they're fairly close. Now you can see obvious errors inside of this, but no matter, it's gonna give me a really good base to start working inside of Alias. So yeah, uh, now it's time to export it. And we're gonna export it as an iGIST. I am setting the axis so that Alias understands it. That is Z up, et cetera, iGIST. Uh, place it in a location, bam, it's there in that location. Now it's imported inside of Alias. Now this Alias file is, as you can see, nothing has been touched on that. Those are real NURB surfaces real nerves curves, and it's now time to get to work. There's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of rads to, to, to put in. I'm making sure that things are in alignment, positional alignment, and also curvature alignment and such. So just showing you the, the line, the network that was created. And I can see, like I said, I can see a lot of errors here, but boy, does it give me a head start and really working this inside of NURBS. So I hope that this uh, has been helpful for you. We'll get into part two later, but I hope that you will, because of this video, give Gravity Sketch a try because it's a really powerful tool and particularly in alignment with other tools. Like if you're doing sub D inside of Gravity Sketch, you can take that inside of Blender. You can take that inside of Maya and finish it off. If you're doing Alias inside or you're doing NURBS inside of Gravity Sketch, you can take that inside of Alias or Rhino, whatever NURBS program that you like to use. So it's a very powerful tool, but what these other programs don't have that Gravity Sketch has, and I want to just underscore this again, is the ability to see around this thing in 3D. It's to see around your sketch in 3D, and that's powerful. So until the next time, until part two, or 